Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I'm back with another one page wonder. I'm glad you guys are still enjoying these. So um, I actually am gonna show you how to make an easy fold folio um, with one piece of 12 by 12 paper. But I'm gonna show you um, how using the same paper scored the same way, we can actually um, make, you know, kind of different projects um, where the folio opens up different ways. So I'm gonna go over three different ways today. There's probably others if you play with it and how you attach the pages. Um, but we're gonna do three and it's so easy and you score, like I said, all the papers the same way. And um, anyway, this these come together super fast. I spent most of the time with mine just decorating them and making them look pretty, right? Um, but the actual construction of it is really quick and easy. Okay, so we'll get started. This is using some really pretty um, graphic 45 paper. I can't remember the name of the kit, but if you're interested, let me know and, and, and I'll, um, I'll either put it in the description or respond to a comment if you leave me a comment. Okay, so because I'm gonna show you how to make all three, I have cut three pieces of 12 by 12 paper in half. Um, so this one started off as a 12 by 12. Aren't these papers really pretty? Um, and this is a 12 by 12, it doesn't really matter where they were at one point. And then I had this one. So um, you could actually mix them up if you wanted you know, the papers to be different, but I'm just, I'm just gonna use the same two halves with each one like I did for my prototypes. So cut your piece of paper in half. So you'll have two pieces that are six inches by 12 inches. And if there's some direction to the paper, that's just fine. You just wanna make sure you know, when you cut it in half that, um, I think it went this way, didn't it? Um, when you cut it in half, I cut it in half, you know, with it being right side up. I didn't cut it this way. And then all these ladies would be sideways. I hope that makes sense. Okay, super, super easy scoring. Okay, so you don't have a scoreboard, you can use a ruler um, and some type of straight edge, a bone folder or something like that. Um, but we're gonna score each of our pages, papers, at one and a half, five and a half, and nine and a half. And then I'm just gonna, because this is pretty thick scrapbook cardstock, I'm just gonna score on the other side to try to help keep it from cracking. But at one and a half, five and a half, nine and a half, okay? And you're gonna do that for each sheet. So the measurements will be in the description for you. Um, and um, so you, if you're just watching and you don't wanna take notes, you can go back and look at the description. Um, and I'm going to, while I have my scoreboard out, I should have gone ahead and scored some of these um, earlier, but I did not. So I'm just going to do them really quick while I'm chatting with you guys. Um, but I'm not doing anything different. Just one and a half, five and a half, nine and a half. Okay. Um, so what was I going to talk about? I don't know. I guess we are getting near the end of August. And I can't believe the summer here in the States is almost over. It goes by so fast. Um, I know when my kids were little, time time seemed to go by pretty fast. And you know, you live your life on the, the school calendar year. And we have one left in college, but the rest of the kids, you know, are out and are working. And I don't know, everything feels a little different. Um, as the kids get older too, so. And I guess I've gotten older as well. <laughs> but that's all right, I still have lots of energy and I'm getting to do what I love, which is um, make paper crafts, so there you go. 
All right. Um, and I think I mentioned this before. One of the things that I'm really excited about um, having my son and his girlfriend in town. Um, make sure I scored that the right place. Uh, is that they love our dogs and they don't have any pets of their own or children of their own yet. And so um, they are eager to dog sit for us when we go on vacation here in the first week of September. And um, anyway, so that's super exciting. Having, um, having people that love the puppies willing to come and um, dog sit for us. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one of these we start with. So once you have your 12 by 12 piece of paper cut in half and scored, you just want to, and I tend to go both directions, just to make sure the folio folder, whatever you want to call this, um, is nice and even and comes together nicely and just work all of your folds in and just make sure everything's nice and straight, okay? Now on mine, I used elements and things um, from the kit to stuff inside all the pockets and on a few, I made some extra tuck spots and I'll show you those a little more closely um, before we wrap up the video, but I'm gonna keep this one hopefully focused on just the construction and then you can decorate them any which way you like okay all right so let's do this one first that has this little pocket on the front cover and then it's got a pocket here a pocket here a half page and then another pocket and another pocket, right? So the only pocket I added with extra paper was this one here, okay? So it's all just with your 12 by 12 paper. So this pa paper does have a directionality to it. So um, it's hard to see, but there are some words there. So I am going to make this the front and so when you're looking at your paper and you have your one in your inch score mark, um, turn your paper so it's to the right and then fold that flap back. And this is gonna be your cover. So in fact, we'll even go ahead and glue it down. Now if you wanna ink and do all of that before you start gluing, do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue mine together and not worry about inking today. All right, so there's our first pocket. And then I gotta remember what I did for each one. Okay, and then this one, then you're just gonna fold this pocket um, to the left. So now we have a pocket this way. So we'll go ahead and glue that one together. Makes it really easy. And these were inspired, and I'm trying, I, I made these, I don't know, maybe six, seven months ago. Um, for another project just for myself. I didn't make a video. Um, and I've been going through all my one page wonders and I need to do a better job of writing down when there, cause I know, I know I saw somebody make something very similar to this. And then I, when the one that just figured out I can kind of attach it all different ways, but I need to remember who that is, but I don't write off the top of my head. Okay, um, if somebody know, knows, let me know. <laughs> okay. Now for this one, we are going to, again, make sure I have it turned the way that I want it. And you're gonna clo close your first one. So have it turned the right way with the pocket on the front, the pocket here, and then lay it on your workspace like this. And then we are just gonna glue the one and a half inch flap right here as a pocket. So you can even get that kind of folded up and out of your way. So I want to glue it here to here. So I'm going to add glue to these two sides and then right along the score line. And hope you guys can see that. I didn't ink that for you, but that's the score line. And then just put it on here. And one of the best ways I find to do that is to just kind of fold it back on itself. 
and you can get it nice and straight. Okay, so let me show you that again. So now you have a pocket here. And of course, if I'd inked it, it would be a little easier to see. It's a pocket, okay? And now we're going to do that half page and then this um, tall pocket right here. So we're going to use this page glued to this page to turn it into a pocket. So I am going to notch it. And then um, we're gonna add glue. My score line is right here, right along the inside of those score lines and along the bottom on this panel. Um, I love big, deep pockets like this, but if you want something smaller to fit in here, bring your adhesive up some, and you can make your pocket um, more shallow if you would like. All right, get that creased in. And again, this is your little half page, so it's gonna flip like that. Just gonna stick that in there so you can see that pocket and then you fold it together and it is so easy so you can see how you could really quickly make a bunch of these and we have a pocket here now if we want to we can use other paper and make a pocket you make journaling space you know however you want to decorate it or fill it full of, of goodies this one i've got a journaling card in the back pocket i love this deep green again i made a pocket here this is, I put little tabs on the half page. I loaded that pocket. Um, oh, I did add a pocket here. I apologize. I did a corner pocket. Um, but you could also just put more of a neutral paper, make that for journaling, right? And then the front pocket. So very sweet and easy to decorate. So that's that style. So now let's make this style. So this one has doesn't have a pocket on the front. It has a pocket on the inside of the front cover and then a page that opens up this way and some fun a fun pocket with a flap. And then it also has the half page and the deep pocket. Okay? So, two pieces of paper, 6 by 12 scored the exact same way y'all just watched me score these and we're just it the the only difference is how we attach all of the papers so if you want to make one this way grab another piece of 12 by 12 paper and you can do the other style as well so if you really want to use up some of that scrapbook paper maybe you have like like I have <laughs> from all the years of scrapbooking um you know collecting paper and craft supplies I think is almost a separate hobby um that then actually paper crafting I love my paper collection but I also love using it and I love finding projects like this that are easy and quick and come together um, quickly because, um, you know, I mean, how beautiful is that? And you could go through like a whole stack of 12 by 12 paper really fast. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna turn your paper the way you want it. And this time, the one and a half inch flap is to the left and we are just gonna glue it down to make the side pocket that's on the front of the cover. All right, what did I do next? All right, and then this time, you're gonna have um, your, your cover, your pocket, a page, and now you've got this flap here. It's right here. And we are going to attach the one and a half inch section again right to this page. I'm trying to see, show you guys. So it's just gonna glue down right there, all right? So we'll add glue um, 
for it to be a pocket, so not all over the panel, just on both ends and then right across the crease. And I'm just using my wet white glue. Um, this is the Line Co. PVA, which is my pretty much my new favorite. I still do love art glitter glue, but um, I have a whole video when I discovered this particular glue. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it if you want to. Um, but I may have a new favorite glue. It's just a little less expensive. It's a little, it has a little more wiggle. It still grabs really, really good and it doesn't fail, but it gives you a little more time maybe than art glitter does um, if you want to adjust something. And um, I just love it. Okay. Um, let me just grab a piece to, so we can see that pocket there. Okay, so this one has the flap. And again, I put a tab right here, which was really cute. All right. And then I want to make that deep pocket again in my half page. Now, if you don't want the half page, you're, and this is what we're going to do with option three, right? So really, you can take these three options and adjust them as well. You could leave this one where it just opens up, right? And you you um, have this interactive and you can do pockets or journaling spots or whatever. Um, you know, you could use whichever elements of each of these you want. For example, on the one we just made, right here, there's nothing to say we couldn't have put the pocket on the inside cover instead of on the outside of the cover. And then it would kind of be start off like this one did. You would open it up and you'd have a pocket here and here. So you can alter and vary the different options however you like. For mine, I'm gonna make it like I did my prototype and I'm gonna turn this section into a pocket. So I am going to notch and then again, add glue to the three sides on this section right here. So down right alongside the score lines and the bottom. So I hope that made sense how you really can kind of use whichever features of each of the three options I'm showing you that you want for yours. Okay, which is so many possibilities. All right, so again, now you can add another pocket. We could put something more neutral there. I definitely like the idea of adding, you know, like the whale tabs or whatever kind of tabs you have um, to break up some of the floral here. But I definitely am loving this dark green. The paper's beautiful. Okay, so that, and then I had these this from the paper pack. I just fussy cut it out and put that ribbon around it. Isn't it cute? Um, but this one is the exact same. Interactive, little flap, big pocket. Okay, so that's that one. And let's do the last one. So what's the difference with this one? This one, again, you have the inside pocket. You have a page. You have this flap. Oh, and then I just left it open. Yeah, that's the difference. So I added a pocket here. And we have lots of spaces for journaling. So since I cut the paper, we'll go ahead and put it together and show you how you just kind of stop. You, you don't make that big pocket there at the end. Um, and if you want the pocket on the front of the cover, you can definitely do that. Or if you want it to the inside of the front cover. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do with these is I'm still hoping that I might make it to a craft fair this fall, but I'm thinking um, that I may even use some really cute Christmas holiday. I, I We celebrate Christmas in my family, and so um, do some holiday-themed folios like this um, that people can use as their Christmas cards, right? And then inside could be a gift card if you wanted it to be a full gift. It could be, um, you know, if you do a family newsletter, it could be a photo, like my daughter graduated from college, so I might make some of these for my family. And um, I'm gonna make that the front for my family. And then, do I 
maybe I don't want to make that the front. Let me think about that for just a second. Um, make it for my family and put like her graduation pictures in there, you know, as, as part of the gift. So, so many choices, right? Um, I do want to make the stripes the front, but I want to have I want to have this lady on the front. So I'm going to change it up. And instead of having the pocket on the inside of the cover, I'm going to have it on the front of the cover just because I think it goes better with my paper. I just looked at my watch and I see I have nine text messages. Hmm. I wonder who's messaging me. Um, looks like it's my husband and our youngest daughter. We have a little group text. So I'm going to look at that in a minute and trust since the last one was a nice smiley face that everything's okay. <laughs> right? All right. Um, okay. So now we have this one. I'm going to have this pocket here. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm doing this one completely different. <laughs> And not completely different, but different from this one. Yeah, I am. But it's okay. And see, that's the fun of this. So we've got an outside pocket. We have a pocket on the second page. And then we are going to have this pocket here. So again, we're adding glue to these three sides. You can just change up your options based on how what you wanted to do or the design of your paper. But anyway, going back real quick, so I also thought this would be a fun craft fair um, thing because they're great just as they are, but I could even sew like some paper in here and make this into like a more substantial mini journal. I think um, even without having, you know, a thicker spine, I could easily sew three, four, five pages um, of coffee dyed paper in here. And um, it would be just a lovely little gift. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, let me know what you think of that idea. And if you think that's something you would like to see at a craft fair. Okay, let's see how this one came together. Pocket on the cover pocket here, pocket here, and then we just have a, almost like an accordion flip out, right? I love it. If you wanted to, you could fold this one in and have another pocket here, right? And it could fold like that. That would work and that would be a little different and open like that. So it really is whatever you think. Um, you know, just from the discussion I had while I was making these, it's clear to me we could make a lot more than just the four variations now that I have instead of just the three. So um, this paper kit, like I said, is really pretty. It had lots of beautiful patterns and pieces of ephemera um, that I was able to easily just cut out or take apart and then... Um, I made this little journaling card, used some of the stickers, so we could go in either way. Um, yeah, super easy. So if you've got some scrapbook paper you want to use up, I hope you'll give this project a try. Whoa, this one's unfolding. I definitely think, like I said, I'm going to do some of these for the holiday. I think they'll make nice nice little gifts. And I could also see, like I said, you know, if they say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, you know, all the things with the holidays. Um it would be a great Christmas card. So easy peasy. I hope you guys like it. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you'll be notified when I release new content. Thanks everybody and have a great day.